Hi, my name is Rosie, and we're going to be looking at an overview of three interrelated elements of learning, acquisition, making meaning, and transfer, to create independent learners that have the sophistication and the skill set to tackle those unfamiliar, messy problems, challenges, and questions. After looking at each of these elements, we will then evaluate existing assignments to identify questions and problems as either acquisition, meaning making, and transfer. In thinking about our instructional practice, acquisition, meaning making, and transfer are at the heart of our lesson planning. Let's start with acquisition. The goal of acquisition is pretty straightforward, to have kids learn vital facts and skills so that they become automatic. The teacher's role is to directly instruct. The learner's role is one not only of listening, being attentive to what's being said, but also doing lots of practice and rehearsal so that they're going after fluency on a regular basis. Take a look at some sample learning activities for acquisition. If you have Bloom's taxonomy running through your head, mostly it's level one of remembering with action verbs like recall, state, select, identify. Those are the key verbs that we can consider through acquisition. The goal of meaning making is to engage in active intellectual work to make sense of the content. Meaning is not so much taught as learned as it is challenged and constructed. So the teacher's role is to present those probing questions in intellectual tasks that resist an easy answer and demand thought. Let's take a quick look at some sample learning activities for meaning making. The levels of Bloom's taxonomy here are understand, apply, analyze, and evaluate. All again, these require active sense making on the learner's part. The goal of transfer is to have the students effectively apply and adapt prior learning to novel, new, complex situations. So the teacher's role here is observing student performance in real time and then functioning like a coach. We're trying to gradually release the experience so that the learners have an opportunity to be more and more autonomous. They are being coached in their performance as opposed to the teacher taking the lead. Let's take a look at these sample learning activities for transfer. As you can see, the students are presented with some novel and something that they haven't seen before, something that requires a level of analysis. So some action verbs for transfer activities are things like apply, create, and design. So here is a summary. Acquisition, meaning making, and transfer. These are all three important and interrelated elements of learning. 